Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to access BBC iPlayer by proxy. Um, now the reason you'd want to do this is that you're outside the UK and BBC iPlayer is not accessible to anybody who's um, located outside uh, Great Britain. Right, if you're outside the UK as I am, you will probably be aware that you try and get watch any program on BBC iPlayer, you'll get this block here. It's the same with um, ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5, all the, the British TV stations are the same. <coughs> um, basically what happens is they look up your IP address and um, see where it's located. If it's not British, they block you. And this is why people try and use proxies, because proxies are basically a server that sits between you and the website you're visiting, hides your real location, and the website only sees the IP address of the proxy server. So if you're using a British or UK based proxy, um, BBC iPlayer will work for you. Right, now I'm going to show you how I do it, but before I know always people want to know, can I do this for free? Uh, well, the simple answer is yes, you can do this for free, but there are a few drawbacks to it. Um, now, if you want to use free proxies, the main drawbacks are speed and reliability. Um, speed is that most of the free ones are very overloaded, and so they're not really capable of streaming video across it. You, you will occasionally find one that is um, for a short time. Uh, reliability is they fall over all the time. Um, my record was something like 10 proxies in half an hour. They all fell over. You can get lucky and find one that does work. So for occasional use, try out free proxies. Um, now what you want to do if you want to use a free proxy is um, the important thing to do is you need to find one in the right country. So if I just put this website, this website here is called proxy.org. They've got a, a list here of um, proxies and they'll actually got a list of countries there. So um, <coughs> excuse me you can actually go to uh, uh, filter on down here I think web proxy sorted by country now this is a web proxy so you just type in the address um, you'll normally have to try quite a few before one works but it, it is possible um, another site that's that's www.proxy.org and there's one here called samair.ru it's a Russian proxy list uh, s-a-m-a-i-r dot ru proxy um, these are direct proxies um, so you all you will do is you'll get the um, the IP address again if you log in you can find um, them listed by countries um, but what basically for BBC I play you'd have to look down the list and try and find a British one I can't see one at the moment but uh, they change all the time so if you keep looking you'll probably find uh, one in the main section there's 30 uh, da, 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 UK, United Kingdom. Uh, anyway, I won't bore you. You'll probably find them somewhere. You just need to search on the um, filter by country list that they can do there. Okay, so you need a UK one. If you want to watch something that's blocked in the US and only for US, you obviously need a US server. Now, these direct proxies, when you've got the IP address, um, they're different from web proxies because you have to set them up manually. Um, what you basically have to do is to go into your internet sec uh, settings. I'm going in sex I'm in Chrome here. It's very similar in Internet Explorer. Go show advanced settings and you need to find the network section here. Can you see the network section? Change proxy settings. All right, let's come over here. And you can see here LAN settings. Click on that. Click use a proxy and then put the um, the address in here. Um, they normally tell you the port. If they don't, try 80 or 8080, 8080. Uh, leave that set there. OK, and then refresh your browser. Uh, close your browser and open it again. Then all your web browsing through this um, through this browser will go through the proxy that you've set in there. Um, if you find your web browsing isn't working, go in and, and take it out because, as I say, if you're using free proxies, they won't last very long, okay? Um, but that's how you do free proxies. So it can be for some people. Um, it's quite time-consuming. Be careful as well on the security aspect because um, 
they're, uh, you don't know who runs these proxies and some hackers and identity thieves can use them. But if you're just using them to um, watch the BBC, don't put in your bank details anywhere or email address. <clears throat> you should be okay if you can find one fast enough. Okay, so that's enough of the free weights. I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to close here now. Um, BBC iPlayer, so I was blocked. And I'm going to show you um, the program I use, which is basically I, I subscribe to um, uh, a service called Identity Cloaker, which hides your IP address, okay? Uh, you get this little tool, uh, and as part of the subscription, you get access to uh, a few hundred proxy servers. Okay, they're all here. Um, now it's primarily a security tool, but it's brilliant for. I've used it for about four years now um, for watching um, the BBC when I'm travelling, or if I want to watch any American websites, Australian, Canadian stuff like that. Uh, all you need to do is scroll down and pick the country you need. So I want UK at the moment. So I can watch BBC iPlayer and connect. Oop, sorry, I've selected France for some reason there. And right, okay, there's Identity Cloaker active on um, a UK server. So all my information is routed now through that um, UK proxy server. Okay, so if I go through and watch um, BBC, you remember I got blocked before. Uh, this time it should work all right. Let's just watch this. Trust me, I'm a doctor, which is quite good. Uh, let's get click. And now you can see it'll play perfectly. Um, you won't notice any difference on speed and stuff. The identical cloakers servers are really, really fast. So um, it'll be just like watching it through your normal internet connection. Um, w when you finish, just merely click on identity cloaker and disconnect it or switch to another country if you don't want it's very easy to use um, there's a discount voucher on the video here and you'll see one in the um, links below i'll also put the links to those um, free uh, proxy sites below if you want to try that route give it a go if you if you only want to watch the odd program you know now and again um why pay for something um so try it out if you like um if you're going to watch it more than a couple of times, it's worth going through a paid service. Believe me, you will spend hours and hours searching for free ones. Um, it's, it's a hell of a lot of hassle. Um, I'm going to finish there. Um, thank you for watching, and I, I hope this video has helped something. Um, it's BBC iPlayer by proxy. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.